Hi, my name is Linda Suleiman, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon specializing in hip and knee replacements here at Northwestern Medicine. Today, I'm gonna to take you inside the OR where I'll perform a robotic total knee replacement. Come with me. So this is a patient with bilateral knee osteoarthritis in which both knees have been hurting for several years. She's failed conservative management, meaning injections, physical therapy, um, and now has gone on to a knee replacement. So your knee is made up of three bones. You have your femur, which we're looking at, and it's pretty damaged. You have your tibia, and then you have your kneecap. And at the ends of our bone, you have something called cartilage. That's a nice smooth surface that allows you to really move around without pain. And once that cartilage is damaged, it's like sandpaper. So you can imagine two rough surfaces grinding up against each other. So the misconception of a knee replacement is that I'm removing the knee. We're actually doing is that we're taking about nine or 10 millimeters off the end of each side of the bone and we're resurfacing it with this nice smooth implant. The first part of the surgery is um, putting the pins into the femur to give us information about what the, fe the femur bone is doing. This sensor is a tracker that faces this camera, and these sensors give information to the robot back into the screen to give me information about what the knee is doing. So total, there are four pins for surgery. Two on the femur, two on the tibia. Now what I'm trying to do is what's called mapping of the bone. Again, I'm trying to match the bone to what we see on the CT scan. No two patients have the same type of arthritis. So it really customizes and personalizes surgery for our patients. So ultimately, all this information that we're inputting into the robot is gonna register to the saw blade. So now this is probably the most important part of the surgery us balancing the knee. And this is where the robot really becomes so useful in doing a knee replacement. We need to know what the range of motion is of the knee as well as what the balance is. Meaning, in the setting of arthritis, one side of the knee becomes tighter, one becomes looser, and ultimately the robot is actually giving me more accurate information on the actual degree of getting to full extension. And we're now gonna do the fun part. So we're bringing the robotic assisted arm into place. We're gonna start with our tibial cut. I hold the trigger. The robot goes into the exact position where it's supposed to cut. Okay, so we've now cut the tibia. Pro. We're now gonna go on to the femur. And you can see as the green starts to disappear on the screen, that means that bone is being removed. Our tibial cut. So again, I'm not cutting the entire knee out. It's, this is about seven millimeters uh, total. So next is we gotta take this remaining menisci out because we don't need it. We have a nice new flat implant that's gonna create that cushion that the meniscus was previously doing. And what we're being careful is to protect the ligaments and the arteries in the back of the knee. So the next step, once we clear out all the tissue, is we put our trial components. So before we buy the real thing, we wanna make sure this is the right thing for the patient. This is a trial femur component. So we're now we're just putting it through range of motion here. And we see it's moving well. We've got her back in her full extension. And now we put the real deal in. This is our femoral implant. This is our tibial implant that'll go into the femur. I take some dough, put it on to the tibia on the bone itself. So we're now taking the implant, cementing it in.
We now are gonna put the femur on. Mallet. And it's nice and locked. And we're all done. So when the patient wakes up from surgery and the anesthetic wears off, um, we'll get her up to start walking. We'll have her do the stairs. And once you go home, you start an intensive six week physical therapy program. Really working on the range of motion, muscle strength, rebuilding after surgery. So I'm really optimistic on the recovery of this patient post-op. Thank you for joining us inside the OR.